Good morning. I am getting ready because I have a shoot a little bit later today. So I figured I would do a quick, well, I'm not gonna do a get ready with me because I just did that. But I figured I could show you guys what I put in my camera bag. So what I bring to a shoot with me in my camera bag and my regular bag. Let's go get them. Well, there's the camera bag. <laughs> so I've been using this little like crossbody bag as a purse a lot recently because it's just so easy to leave like right here while I'm shooting. I love it. So this is my purse and we will go through it. I think I showed in a previous vlog my Pelican case that I bring when I'm traveling more. It offers more protection, but when I'm in town, I just use this little backpack. I'm gonna go ahead and just show you everything that I bring in both these bags. Okay, I just hit pause on the dishwasher, so we'll see if it actually pauses or if I just it up, I don't know. To be fair, I would change out of this robe, but I just put on self-tanner and I don't feel like getting it on my clothes I'm gonna wear later yet. So, you get yet another vlog in this robe. This is gonna be a really quick vlog. Sorry in advance, or maybe you like it better, faster. So we'll do a what's in my bag first. Sunglasses, because always, never know when you're gonna need them. This is my wallet. <laughs> it's my grandmother's old change purse and it's just a bunch of boring shit in here so i'm not gonna go through it um hello gum duh lip gloss only because i can't find any of my chapsticks and my lips are getting so chapped recently foundation because the odds are that i haven't done my makeup fully yet and i have to touch it up when i get somewhere airbrush flawless foundation charlotte tilbury this is so old i probably should not be using it um part of a dog treat oh it's okay, deep breath. I mean, same thing happens to me and I'm not even scared of the dentist, you know what I mean? Sorry about that. <laughs> My friend is terrified of the dentist, which valid, I don't think any of us like the dentist. Okay, we're almost done with the what's in my tiny, these are honestly bigger than you think they are, but at the same time, I need like a Mary Poppins bag. Two more things, I have so many grocery lists. Does anyone else write out their grocery list, like not on their phone, just on a piece of paper, or am I just an old school psycho? Uh, this one's a little cheesy, it's just a Polaroid of Zan and me, but I like it. And obviously, there's so much fuzz on it right now. Anyway, I normally run through these cameras really quickly, but she's holding on. Maybe I'll take a quick one of Ziggy. All right, Sue, it's your time to show. I'm a stage mom. That is all. We are empty. So that's what I normally carry in my purse. Purse. I feel weird calling it a purse. It doesn't feel like a purse. I will say, only because I've been wearing these this morning and normally have my glasses in there as well, which is probably why they're scratched to shit. I need a glasses case. I'm gonna zip it so I don't drop anything. This is the bag I normally use. It is a backpack. Hello. I didn't honestly own a backpack for my camera for a really long time. I don't know why. These things are the best. Terrifying. The inside looks like this. Easiest to take out. Um, I love making little collages, so I normally will bring a little Polaroid with me. I feel like this is from Urban Outfitters. Missing a lens cap. Found it. It doesn't really fit. This is a 50 millimeter lens, but technically I think it's 49, so the lid doesn't, the lid, the lens cap doesn't stay on it very easily. But anyway, 50 millimeter Canon lens. She's great, I do like her. We have film for the Polaroid, bunch of batteries, <laughs> prism. I think I showed this last time. So this is the 70 to 200. This is my father's. I think I mentioned that in my last vlog, but I would be remiss and probably get yelled at if I did not say that. This is not mine. She's very beautiful. So I call this my paparazzi lens, not mine again. Honestly, I don't use this lens a lot. When you need it, it's good to have. The bread and butter. It's the 24 to 70 lens. Enough. I've said it before, this is normally what I shoot on. This is the Canon 5D Mark IV, the 24 to 70 lens, the camera I used to shoot on. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do a little camera tour because I have so many cameras in this house. Battery, duh. Memory card holder. I have to find those. Oh, I know where they are, never mind. On camera flash, which is what I have those batteries in there for. Before I pack this back up, I will show you other cameras that I have that sometimes I bring. I have really, really sensitive skin. So sometimes I just get random little hives. Flip you around. Paperweight. It might work. It looks pretty scratched to shit, if I'm honest. 
also a paperweight. I got both of these at the same time from this vintage shop outside of town. The man said that they work. Honestly, it's doubtful. I mean, I think they were both like a quarter. This is the film camera that I use. You guys have seen it before. It's the Canon EOS Elon. She's great. 28 to 80 lens on here. I don't think I've used the other lens, but I have it. It's a 100 to 300 millimeter lens. Jeez, I'm just trying to flash everyone. That is the film camera that I shot Bonnie's album cover on that I'll put up here. My Super 8 film camera. I have gone through airport security with this and they have pulled me over because they thought it was a gun. This does work. It's just getting the film and getting the film developed is a very expensive thing to do. This I got at a yard sale. It's a Canon AE-1. I have tried to shoot on this before and it doesn't work so well, but that's okay. I got it for super cheap, so. Oh, this guy. This is an original Polaroid camera. I think there might be a little bit of a light leak in that Polaroid camera, unfortunately, so I do need to get that taken in but until then she sits pretty on the shelf so this is the Canon rebel t5i 18 to 55 lens served me well I shot on this for years the quality of the work has changed with me changing my camera but honestly it's a good starter camera I think all things considered that camera is pretty cheap it's the Holga because I wanted to try medium format camera I don't like it it's so light it's just weird my friend and I went to shoot on this one day it did not go as planned maybe I'll try again I should try again because I really do want to but yeah wouldn't recommend this camera I do have one more camera well I have the vlog camera, obviously, but I have another just Canon point and shoot film camera, but I left that at my friend's house last weekend, so I don't have it right now. I think that might be all my cameras. Hold on, that's not true. I think this is my last one. <gasps> it's so old. I've had this since middle school and it has virtually no storage space. Yeah, internal memory full literally holds like three pictures at a time. And I don't have the right size memory card for it, so I've gotta figure that out. I'll still use this sometimes. This is more for like around the house, just kind of around. Oh, God, I just have so many random cameras places. I got this at the vintage shop as well for, again, I think literally a quarter. I have three camera paperweights. I feel like I should look into that. That old school flash though. I'm scoping out every room to make sure I'm not missing a camera though. Okay, I think that's officially, oh, my baby. All right, well that is it. That, my lovely, lovely friends, is a what's in my bag, what's in my camera bag, and then all the random cameras that are just floating around my house. It is time for me to get this face together and go on the shoot. Well, thank you for watching. I know it was a quick vlog, but I love it. I love you. I hope you liked it. I don't know why I'm sticking my arm up right now. Where's my coffee? Coffee, coffee, coffee.